Have you ever acted before at all? No, none. Just, uh, I dropped the kids off for, I dropped Mason and Katie off for an audition, a screen test, and just asked Matt and Ron if they had a, a part for a stressed out mom, and they said, well, yeah, we do. So, <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> so this is your first movie then? <laughs> My first movie, yes, yes. Filming was, um, let's see, I, the filming part itself wasn't that difficult, I didn't think. The repetition was difficult. I wasn't, I didn't know that you had to have so many takes of the same scene to get the, everything, you know, shot the way it needs to go. And my, my most stressful part of it was that I didn't want to mess it up for Baker because he was so good and had worked so hard and I thought, oh, I've never done this before. So, um, so that was my most stressful part was that I, I wanted, I didn't want to mess up our scenes for him. Oh, my favorite scene. I think my favorite scene was at the very end of the our day that we had shot all of our indoor scenes together and we started um, early in the morning. I think I got there about 8 o'clock, but Baker had been there since 6, around 6, and had been doing some, some of the scenes that just had him in them. And um, towards the end of the day, we shot a scene where I was peeking in on him uh, when he had gone up to his room and he was supposed to be pretending to sleep while I was, or acting, he was acting, to, to sleep and uh, we'd shot the whole scene and then it was time for him to say a line or, or come and, you know, he was supposed to be pretending to sleep and then when I walked out of the room, he was supposed to turn and look at the door and when it was time for that, we had found that he was sound asleep in that bed the whole time. It was, it was great. <laughs> So he did a great job acting because he was sound asleep. But it, and, uh, so that was that was my favorite scene. I think difficult. I thought. I mean, the whole process was difficult because um, I think my character as the mom, um, she she's a very different kind of mom than I am in real life. <laughs> so I think that that was a real stretch for me um, when she's a very. Um, I think doting mother, and, and if you ask any of my own children, they'll say, yeah, since when do you ever pour milk and cereal and, you know, get us our orange juice for us? I'm just, you know, everybody get their own thing. If you want cereal, get some cereal. Um, so, so that, you know, and I think we had several takes that morning when I was, you know, we were talking over the breakfast table, and they said, no, Julie, you have to pour his orange juice. Pour his orange juice. <laughs> right there so I think that <laughs> I think that was the difficult part but um and and I think too um I have a whole new appreciation of actors when um they're in emotional scenes um you know when when I think it was difficult for me to get in that mindset of um you know the widow the recent widow so so hopefully that will come across on the screen that that we were mourning the loss of <laughs> husband and father. So. Baker is something else. He, uh, he, he knew all of his lines, so when it came down to it, he, he uh, you know, he could get right to it and do the lines. But he also has these facial expressions and, and these little one-liners that, like, in between that was hard for me to get back on track. <laughs> Because I would move his hair over, or I, I always wanted to touch him, and I know Ron always would say, "Don't touch him right there." I'm like, "Oh, but you know, that's the kind of mom I am. I'm like the touchy feely kind of mom." And you know, and he and I and I'd go to move his hair, and he'd say, "You're not my real mom." <laughs> and so then I'd have to, oh, we'd have to start all over again because. <laughs> so, it was fun working with Baker. He he did a great job, and he made it easier for me because he. Um, you know, he was on track and, and determined to get it done. He, so, yeah. Matt was, what can I say about Matt? He, he fought for me for this part because Ron didn't want me because I had purple hair. And, and with my seasonal hair changes, um, Matt just thought it would work. So, um, and he was really, he was great. And he, um, he had strong opinions about certain scenes, and he 
would stand up for it and Ron would let him shoot it that way and then Ron would show him why he thought the other way and so <laughs> sometimes sometimes they left it Matt's way and sometimes they left it Ron's way but I thought it was great that he you know um, as a budding director he was able to take direction also and but also stand up for his own um, ideas so I thought he was great. Um, I have a whole new appreciation for for movie making and you know I, I um, I've never had any part of it before. It was great because it's something that I got to do with Mason and Katie. Um, so that was something that, that we'll share for forever. So that was fun. Um, it was different in that, you know, the scenes were so um, out of sequence. So it'll be really interesting when it all comes together because we have no idea <laughs> what it's going to be like when it comes all together. So that's, we're excited to see what it comes comes together like 